Hello, this is Professor Stephen Nesheba, and I want to tell you a little bit about uh, Taylor expansions, and in particular, the Taylor expansion of this quantity, 1 over 1 minus x. So what I've done is I've uh, laid out a set of, uh, of, of x values, and now I'm going to calculate that function and make a graph of it. And so here we are. So this is the function, 1 over 1 minus x, as a function of x, and it's this uh, increasing Function. So that's what we want to try to approximate with the Taylor expansion. So the complete Taylor expansion of that function turns out to be really simple. It's just 1 plus x plus x squared and so on. But we don't want to just carry out that expansion forever. We, we want to see where we can truncate it. Um, and so the first place to truncate it would be right after that 1, and that's the 0th order approximation. We, so we would say fx, f of x is just about equal to 1. And let's see how that looks. Well, not so good, you know, there's, uh, uh, that's just the zeroth order uh, Taylor approximation where f is 1, it doesn't do very well. Let's try the second term, that is to say, first order approximation uh, uh, has us include uh, x there, and uh, what does that look like? Well, that's obviously the equation for a straight line, green here, and it does quite a lot better here for small x, but then starts to... Uh, to diverge from the real function, which is, which is again, that black uh, line. What if we add it on the second uh, order term? Well, that's now, uh, that's, uh, that's blue here. That's 1 plus x plus x squared. It's got some curvature, so it does a little bit better. So we could just carry on with that. Um, and as long as x is smaller than 1, then uh, we are actually guaranteed eventual convergence, but where should we stop from a practical standpoint? For a physical scientist, the answer is often something like when experimental uncertainty makes it pointless to go on. So let's suppose we had some uh, uncertainty in, uh, in, in you know, the value of our predicting this, this function, 1 over 1 minus, minus x, and, and there are the error bars. So um, if that's how good we need to be, then obviously uh, red, the zeroth order, doesn't do very well at all. Uh, green, the first order approximation, does well until about 0.2. Blue does uh, pretty well up until, uh, let's say, uh, within experimental uncertainty up to about 0.3. So depending on our uncertainty, that determines whether we should take it out to the uh, that approximation or that approximation. Um, so uh, finally, what if the function that you're trying to approximate isn't quite in the form 1 over 1 minus x, but it, but it looks like that? What can you do? Well, what we'd have to do is decide which one is smaller, a or b. So uh, if b is smaller than a, then b over a is smaller than 1, and we can uh, multiply top and bottom by 1 over a. If you do the uh, algebra there, then what it, you end up with is being uh, that uh, f is equal to 1 over a, which you don't really care about for the expansion, because this part here now looks like 1 over 1 minus x. That b over a is uh, would be x, in which case the expansion uh, will look like, uh, that's that 1 over a part, and here's the rest of it, um, doing 1 plus x plus x squared, and so forth. On the other hand, if we go back to this and we think that uh, a is smaller than b, then what I need to do is multiply top and bottom by minus b, so I end up with that minus b in front, and then I have 1 over 1 minus x again. But now x is a over b, and so our uh, convergent uh, Taylor expansion looks like 1 plus a over b plus a over b squared, and, and so on. And so that's, uh, that's the uh, general idea behind uh, Taylor expansions of uh, functions of the form uh, 1 over uh, 1 minus x.